I'm going to show you very quickly how to put a scrolling background into your game. Now there are a couple of types of scrolling backgrounds, vertical, horizontal, and every direction. I'm going to start with the every direction right now because it's easier and kind of ease you into it and then I will make some other videos on the horizontal or vertical. Now I'm going to be using the phaser template which you can get at my site williamclarkson.net that's free and I'll be using the snippets also at my site. So download the basic template and I've got it on a local server. Now normally it starts out in a portrait mode. So the first thing we're going to do is change that. We're going to replace 480 with 640 and 640 with 480. Great, now we've got a landscape. We go to the sprite snippets and we want the first one on the list. We're going to load that into our library. And in state main and preload, just paste that in. And we'll call it background. And the path is images stars. Next, go back to the snippets and down towards the bottom, the one that you want is add a tile sprite. Bring that in. And we want it to start in the upper top hand corner, so we'll put the X at zero and also the Y at zero. And we'll get the size of the image here. We can just set it at that 800 by 600. Now there are times that you'll want to change that based on what kind of scrolling you're doing. If you're doing horizontal or vertical scrolling, for example. But right now, since we're doing a multi-directional scroll, meaning a sprite that can scroll in any direction, then this is fine. We want to use the image size. And there it is. Now here's the neat thing. This tile sprite, auto scroll. And it takes an X and a Y value. So if I want to scroll just left to right, I can say negative one, zero. But a negative one is very, very slow. So let's, I'll speed it up a bit so you'll be able to see it. Negative 100 because it's the number of pixels per second it will scroll. There, isn't that cool? Now if I want to scroll up, I can put 100 as the Y. And then we can put any of the values in here that we want in any direction. So say that if you have a spaceship game, you can just explore an endless universe. So that's how you do it, just three lines of code. Load in the image into the library of Phaser and define a tile sprite, set it to the actual size of the image, and then auto scroll in the direction that you want it to go. I hope that's been helpful. Thank you very much for watching.